How do I level up my hockey? The most common question that I get on my live streams and my discords followed immediately by how do I get colored hockey in the first scene? Well, boys, press like and subscribe because today I'm going to answer both of those questions. Let's go over unlocking colored hockeys in the first C, second or third and how you can easily level up your hockey so that it becomes full body hockey. We're gonna knock out the second question really quickly. Remember the a snow village island where you purchased your hockey, your flash step and your gepo in the first place? If we go to snow right now, you'll see they've added a color specialist NPC right next to the ability teacher inside the cave. This is the guy you can get your colors from. Unfortunately, if you're in the first C, the only thing you can do is buy with Robux. If you want to unlock colors using either events or using fragments, you have to be in the second C. You have to find this guy right here, the Master of Auras. He can spawn in the second C and the third C. If you want to do this free to play, regular colors will cost 1,500 fragments and legendary will cost 7,500. You also need stage five hockey to be able to purchase this, which I'm now going to show you how to get. So full body hockey is actually really straightforward. The problem is most of us play this game using a devil fruit and using devil fruit abilities or say a devil fruit sword, like with the light fruit, won't actually train your hockey at all. Your hockey can only be trained with your fighting style, your gun, or with your swords. So this is why a lot of players get pretty far into the game and they've still only got stage one hockey. And let's talk about the five stages real quick. If you head to Middletown, here's the NPC right here. You go to this little greenhouse. In the first C, you can do this. There's a guy called an aura editor. He's in every C. You can talk to him and he'll let you pick different stages that your hockey will be at, assuming you've unlocked that stage. If you're brand new, you'll be at stage zero, meaning your hockey should look a little bit like this. Here is stage one hockey, it's full arm covered. Here is stage two hockey, which covers your chest and your arms. Here's stage three, which is your arms, chest, and head. Unless, of course, you're using a kicking fighting style, in which case it will be legs, chest, and head. Stage four hockey, pretty much full body, but either your hands or your feet won't have the hockey just yet. And finally, stage five, which is the full body hockey. This is the goal. Now, you can only buy colors once you are at this stage, unless you buy them from Robux, in which case you can get colors at any stage. All right, now that you guys understand the basics, let's get ourselves a Logia fruit because this is a big part of how you can easily gain the experience. We're not going to use this fruit, but the Logia effect is going to gain us bonus XP. So when your hockey is turned on and you're getting hit by an NPC, even if you have the Logia effect, you're going to gain one XP for your aura or for your hockey. So I could just auto click here and stay logged in and this guy would level up my aura for me, but we can make things faster. So I mentioned how your fighting style, your gun and your sword can gain experience as well. For every hit you take and every hit that you deal, you're going to gain one XP. Most players are probably doing this. You're probably leveling your melee, your defense, and whatever your blocks fruits is. So you don't have any sword stat or any gun stat. This kind of perfect. Because you can get a sword that is nice and fast, go into a fight like this, and just whack away at the NPC while he hits you, gaining 1 XP every time you're hit, and 1 XP every time he hits you. He died a little fast for me, but that's because I've got 600 mastery. What if we go back to a weapon that we have never really leveled up? Like, for example, the Cutlass, level 1. We could swing it. We're only going to do 12 damage. So now I could auto-click or I could sit here tapping or whatever. And I'm just gaining non-stop aura XP just by taking hits, doing hits. I don't need to kill the guy. Killing the guy slows down your gain. And now if we're going to do things that way with the sword, we need to pick some swords that attack fast. So we get more XP per hour, per minute, however long you're going to do this for. Some fast weapons that I have noticed that do not make your character move are the dual katana. So it swings just like the cursed dual katana and it, it is fast and you don't move 
on your final swing. The problem with, say, triple katana is although it's fast, you move, which we don't want because then you can't AFK. You'll have to keep running back to the NPC. Another really good one is the gravity cane. It seems to do five hits or four hits in a cycle and it swings relatively fast. It has a very small knockback. A lot of these other legendary swords, they all move you as you swing them, which is kind of annoying, and they don't swing that fast. But the Cursed Dual Katana, like I showed you, also swings fast and doesn't move you. So you could pick one with a low mastery, because that way you'll be able to generate as much XP per NPC without having to kill them and move to the next guy. So now if you want to, you could just AFK, turn on an auto click, and get hit, hit them, and eventually your Haki's going to level up. And all in all, you're actually going to need 60,000 XP in order to get full body Haki. So that means you're going to have to get hit 60,000 times or hit something 60,000 times, which sounds like an insane amount, which is why I often encourage players to just uh, use your melee as much as you can and just level up your Haki as you level up your character. But some people camp their fruit too much, so their Haki doesn't level up and You've got to learn how to swing your sword and do minimal damage in order to gain a lot of Haki XP. I also want to make this really, really clear that as far as I'm aware, this light sword does not generate Haki XP. Could be wrong because the game has changed a little bit since I leveled up, but I'm fairly certain that a Devil Fruit sword does not generate any Haki XP. You got to remember that Haki is sort of the opposite of Devil Fruit, so you can't use a Devil Fruit to level it up. Here's a little bit of bonus information depending on what part of the sea you're in. If you're in the second sea, you've got this big gate here. That's where you join the second sea. You come up the road here, run through this little archway. There's a set spawn guy, and here is your aura editor. You'll also be able to find, if you're in the cafe, grab this chest and head down the ladder. Right here, there's the title specialist, but here's the colors specialist. So if you find any colors in the second C, you can enable them here. And if you're in the third C, obviously head to the mansion. You'll be able to find your colors specialist right here. And if you head to the castle into the sea and you head into this castle building, Aura Stage Editor will be right up here by the big door. So guys, I don't think I've actually missed anything. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover. The most important thing to take away from this is if you're running like melee defense sword, then maybe you should get a gun and use that to level up your Haki. Although if you're a swordsman and you're still leveling up, you've probably accidentally done your Haki anyway. But if you're a Blocks Fruits user and you've neglected sword and melee and gun, then your level one sword can help you very efficiently level up your Haki. You can use pretty much any weapon you want. I was just suggesting ones that are easy because they either don't move you or they attack really fast, which means faster XP. Let us know in the comment section down below if I missed anything. That way people who are looking for extra information can check the comments. If I helped you out, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite aura color is. Hopefully you'll be able to unlock it pretty soon. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and I will see you all next time.